got a Mountain Dew. Got a GameCube controller. Got Pokemon XD. My old save file got deleted because my old memory card was corrupted, unfortunately. So I'm playing through the whole game over again. I'm trying to speed run it, almost. Just get it done in a couple days. So I can play with Butterfree on it. Alright, let's climb to the top of this elevator and let's take on the final boss in XD with Butterfree. This guy's name is Grievel, and he's pretty evil. It's kind of in the name. And he has pretty incredible yellow eyes and that are really creepy. And he can do like this old man quake thing where he like jumps and causes a huge earthquake. It's pretty cool. Anyway. He leads with Swallow and Manectric. Swallow actually isn't much of an issue due to its low attack power, and the fact that it only uses Aerial Ace, which is a, like a 60 attack power move. So I'm actually going to take out pretty much everything but Swallow first. And Manectric falls pretty easily. Next up is Starmie. Which is a decent water type. It's got pretty good special attack and whatnot. And I think this one carries Ice Beam, and I don't want to be frozen or have any chance of getting frozen. So I'm going to take out this Starmie immediately. Grimvolo! <laughs> I'm gonna take it out with Silver Wind. Hopefully, get the boost. Because that's the only reason I'd use Silver Wind in this battle. Not a single boost. I can probably take it out with uh, Giga Drain now, though, and get a decent enough recovery. Maybe about like 20, 30 HP. Yeah. I gotta heal sometime. Especially when this dude has so many flying types. Like, every Pokemon of his except for Gramble has some type of move that's super effective against me. Which is not fun. Especially when you're outnumbered. Uh, Altaria is going down next because it's part dragon type. Just the tiniest sliver left. It almost looks like it's all gone, the HP. Critical hit is not good. Looks like I'm gonna have to heal again. That's what I get for facing two flying types. Butterfree is a flying type too. Another critical hit. Gosh darn it, Altaria. I really want to be at good HP for the final Pokemon. Because it's my arch nemesis if you've watched the Fire Red solo run. Absolute worst Pokemon to go against Butterfree ever. Alright. Actually, it looks like Altaria does a little bit less damage than Swellow. So I'm taking out Swellow now. Altari is a strange dragon type, to say the least. It's not like all about power like almost every other dragon type out there. 
And now it's my nemesis Pokemon, Aerodactyl. I'm just seriously hoping it doesn't get the ancient power boost. I'm good if I can survive that. If it gets the boost, it probably will be able to outspeed Butterfree. But we get nice recovery from the first Giga Drain. Enough to survive an ancient power and an aerial ace consecutively. No boost, no boost, no boost. Yes. Not a critical hit now. Not a critical hit, not a critical hit. Eh, that's hard to say a lot. Okay. Cool. Alright, if I Giga Drain this Aerodactyl, I ought to be able to survive one more Aerial Ace from Altaria, as long as it's not a critical hit. Not a critical hit, not a critical hit, not a critical hit, not a critical hit. Yes. Alright. So now we've got the battle in the bag. Because Psychic will take out Altaria. Alright, we did it! We beat Greevil. Wow! And we only get 5,000 Poké Dollars for winning. That'll get us, like, a Forest Store, maybe? And an Ultra Ball. That's right, a mere child crushed your plan. Well, now you can watch the ending sequence. That was fun. It was kind of anticlimactic because there was only one battle as compared to Colosseum multiple battles. But soon I'm going to be taking on Mount Battle with Butterfree. So look forward to that. And that's going to be a live event.